guys, I have a new topic for you today. It's about birds. Today, we're going to learn all about birds. If you look at this, I'm standing near a colorful bird. I'm going to tell you the information about birds' beak, feathers, and feet. See how the birds are beautifully chirping? I'm in the top like a bird. See? Most birds fly with the help of their wings and their lightweight bodies. They don't have any teeth and they have beaks. And they walk on two legs like us. We walk on two legs, right? Yes. Now, let's talk about feathers. There are three types of feathers in a bird's body. One is flight feather, another one is body feather, the last one is down feathers. First, let's talk about the flight feathers. Flight feathers um, help the bird to fly in the sky. Next, the down feathers help the bird to stay warm. Nestlings have more down feathers. Next, it is the body feathers. The body feathers cover the bird's body and give the bird shape. Body feathers are in different colors and shapes. Now, let's talk about the bird's beaks. They have different kinds of beaks depending on the food they eat. They use it to catch their food and build their own nests. I will let you know different kinds of birds and their beaks. First one, pigeon. Pigeons have strong, sharp and hard beaks to break open seeds easily. Second one, woodpeckers and hoops. They have strong pointed beaks to make holes in tree trunks to pull out insects and eat them. Third one, sunbirds and hummingbirds. They have long and pointed beaks to suck out nectar from the flowers. Fourth one, eagles, hawks, and vultures. They have strong, hook, and pointed beaks. They help to eat the flesh of the small animals like rats. They help to tear the food. Fifth one, ducks and geese. They have broad and flat beaks. They have two holes on either side of their beaks. They, they help them to filter the muddy water and they drink the clean water to help them to stay healthy. Now, let's see the different types of feet that the birds have. All kinds of birds have two feet and on each feet they have four toes. They help them to hop and walk on land. They also are used to catch prey. First one, it's parrots and pigeons. They have perching feet. They help them to hold on to branches and prevent the bird from falling down from the branch. Second one, eagles and hawks. They have talons, they're very sharp. And then they, you, they're used to hold on to prey, small animals. And then they hold the prey tightly while flying in the air. Third one, woodpeckers and hoops. They have climbing feet. They have two toes in front of them and two toes backwards. And then they are helped to climb the trees without falling. Next one is hens and peacocks. They have scratching feet. 
they're used to scratch the mud and pick out their food. Their food are small insects. Fifth one, ducks and geese. They have webbed feet. They're used to swim in the water very easily and fast. Last one, cranes and herons. They have thin and long legs to help them wade in the water. So it's called wading feet. Birds build nests to live in. Different kinds of birds use different kinds of things to build nests. They lay the eggs on the nest. And nestlings hatch. When they hatch, the nestlings are unable to fly. So they stay in the nest to be warm and safe from predators. Weaver birds use their beaks to weave things like straws, grass, to build their nest. Tailored birds use their pointed beaks like a needle and stitch leaves and grass together to make a nest. Penguins live in cold places, so they collect stones and pebbles and make their nest on the ground. Because they're living in the cold places, they don't have trees to lay their nest um, or they cannot fly. Kingfishers dig in the sand or lay their eggs in the river banks. Owls look for holes in the trees and lay their eggs in the holes. We should not harm birds' nest or the birds' eggs. It's fun fact time. Do you know when the mother mother bird starts to fly away for searching food, the father bird look after the eggs or the nestlings to keep it safe from predators like eagles and hawks. It's question time. Do birds have two or three types of feathers? Leave the answer in the comment section below. Bye-bye.